X Force ISO eights. Uh, now a lot of you guys from my stream will know that I tend to had I used to have them all at at uh, Striker, but it was all like one star Striker, and it was kind of a meme I was doing. Um, but there was a reason for that, and there's a reason why I have them set this way. Um, and I don't think I think this team is actually great at uh, options. I don't think there's any one right or wrong option, but Right now, this is the build I have, and here's why. We'll start with Negasonic. So, why does Negasonic have Striker when uh, her first two attacks are going to hit multiple targets? It's a great question. I will answer that. Uh, I don't know if you know this, but you cannot crit a blocked attack. Cannot happen. And this is a war offense team. Uh, everything else this team does is situational at best. Because this is a war offense team, most of the fights I go into... They have block. And because of that, I don't want to wean my Negasonic's first attack into a block and waste everything. So instead, I just have her at increased damage so that it gets the most out of the attack uh, the first time it happens. We use Raider a little bit later on a character that makes a little bit more sense. But either way... Uh, I think that one day there may be a situation where blocks don't matter, but as as long as the first attack in the game is most likely going to be blocked, uh, I can't in all good conscience put Raider on the character who's just going to... It's going to waste. It's going to do nothing. They can't crit, can't put the vulnerables, doesn't matter. So, Negasonic gets damage. You can make an argument for Skirmisher, but again, I don't think she's the character to do it. She is a big damage dealer. Uh, her attack has quite a bit of... of decent multiplier even though her base damage stat isn't great uh i think damage is the right way to go especially later on as you have more things to deal with to be able to get multi-attacks out of it uh moving to cable cable i have him at striker again for damage he does have a pretty decent chunk of damage as a matter of fact if you compare negasonic's damage stat at gear tier redict 13 to cables it is higher so the increase in damage is a little bit more relevant um, I do think Skirmisher is a great option on Cable uh, just for the ability to not have to use Overload to potentially remove a buff or to place it. Skirmisher is a very reasonable option on Cable. I think you kind of look at the characters like you look at Negasonic and X-23 and then you look at Cable and Deadpool and they each are two sides of the same coin. We'll get a little bit more into it. For now, I think that you can probably put crit on him but uh, not incredibly relevant. Uh, none of these attacks make him relevant uh, as far as, as getting multi-shots in. Overload might, but since it's the one attack, it needs to be charged, and it's a pretty decent cooldown, I don't necessarily want to rely on uh, a crit on that attack. I just want it to do its job. So like I said, Skirmisher, reasonable. Uh, he's tanky, so any of the other abilities don't matter. Again, this is a war offense team, so healer is not something that they inherently need. But if it was any character, it might be him. He's probably the, the tankiest of all of them, or the most health. Uh, for me, it's just been damaged so that the attacks do the most. Uh, there's no real conversation about anything else. Skirmisher is close in that in the pool, but... Again, I think you depends on which one, you know, a different character gets. Uh, as for X-23, I put Raider on her, and I no regrets the entire way across. Uh, the main reason why is uh, the major two attacks she does, or the first two things she's going to do in the game, which is Relentless Assault and Feral Rage, uh, are multi-attacks. Relentless Assault is either going to do the attack, or, depending on the fight, it's going to be dodged uh, or blocked and have another chance to crit, uh, it's reasonable to imagine. But the bonus attack is unavoidable, so uh, it is a pretty decent crit uh, opportunity there. And then Feral Rage is uh, five attacks. It's just five attacks. Uh, and if it chooses a different target, that target could also be crit for a vulnerable stack. So as far as I'm concerned, this is a very reasonable ability to have uh, strike... Uh, Raider on compared to anyone else on the team uh, and the ability to take advantage of the crit is very high because Domino gives everybody crit damage uh, Snicked is just a regular damage attack with a chance to gain evade so 
while you can increase the overall output of damage for her stat she does have a lower damage stat at least at my investment level it you know at 65k uh clearly it'll go up over time but i don't think it's it's incredibly reasonable to imagine that uh it's going to be insane for her it's not about the damage it's about the multi-attack so i think crit stands out a little bit more again skirmisher is a relevant option on her um but you don't get the added benefit of feral rage or relentless assault hitting multiple times as opposed to critting so uh, it's okay you can put it there uh, she doesn't really need the focus. The team actually has pretty decent focus all around. So I don't think Skirmisher is very relevant to her, but we can move on. Moving to Deadpool. Uh, I have Skirmisher on Deadpool. Uh, why? Mainly because uh, bonus attack here, getting two attacks in, is relevant for Raider, but uh, it always crits on minion. So that's a good reason for Raider on him but i do like the idea of of just getting multiple attacks in he also has the chance to assist uh specifically on cable that was a reason i was considering skirmisher on him in the first place bounty hunter is very weird and i would recommend you check it out because bounty hunter actually has two things it has the target and the person he hits um and i've tested it if you target someone with taunt and hit the button and go and kill another character or hit another character the character with taunt the one that you had to target is the one who gets the the skirmisher <laughs> debuff so this is a very weird attack it's also if you're familiar with how it works with uh ms marvel if you uh, you know target somebody and then use this ability ms marvel will hit the guy your cursor is on not the person you hit so kind of silly uh overall but yeah that that's that's pretty much where the whole reason i landed on skirmisher was that um i do think raider is incredibly reasonable i actually think raider is better on him than on most characters but the team does need a skirmisher um just in general it needs somebody to be able to say you take a debuff and i think he is a reasonable option for skirmisher I think that Cable is also a reasonable option for Skirmisher, so I think that if you don't, uh, if you have the opportunity to put Cable on Skirmisher and then Raider on him, great option overall. Uh, he will put out a little bit more damage and hit people multiple times, so it's pretty reasonable. As for anything else, Healer, Fortifier, no. But the reason why this gets so hard is because I have hard locked Domino into Fortifier, uh, because Domino has no hit points, uh, is slow, doesn't do damage, uh, I need her alive. Maybe there's a world in the future at 90k when Domino uh, survives attacks, you know? Maybe that's a reality that I just don't live in yet. Uh, so I would actually be interested in hearing comments from people who have 80k plus uh, Dominoes to see if they use anything but Fortifier. Um, I'm using Fortifier as kind of a crutch to prevent my Domino from dying so that I might have an opportunity to use one or two of her abilities. Uh, plus, as long as she's alive, the X-Force uh, evade and and all the extra jazz you get from, from using these characters is incredibly relevant. So I think that if, if a world existed where I didn't need Fortifier, I would very much like to put uh, Skirmisher on her which would open up uh, what we previously talked about, which is like Raider on, on Deadpool, and then either Skirmisher or Striker or Raider on Cable. You know, I think that that's the optimal, how this team would work. I think the biggest problem is Domino is quite literally just too weak a character to survive. And this is where I end up using Fortifier the most on characters like, you know, Rescues and Dominoes, characters that quite literally need to stay alive for at least a turn but are most commonly getting their ass kicked. Um, and that's pretty much it for the X-Force team. Uh, I've already given you guys quite a bit to comment and, and answer in the bottom, but uh, yeah, just feel free to, uh, if you notice that maybe Cable uh, or somebody works better with it. I've already made my argument for Negasonic, but again, I do think that like Raider is good on pretty much all of them. Uh, I think that Cable could be Skirmisher. 
I think that Deadpool could be Skirmisher. I think that X-23 could be Skirmisher. And I think Domino quite literally could be anything, but she's so weak, or at least mine is, that I need Fortifier on her. So, you know what? Take a look at my team and tell me what you would do with my team the way it is right now. That'd be a great comment. Anyway, have a good night. Have a great day. I've been Tony Scongeli, and I'll catch you later.